Hello, Faye Bryant here today with another daily devotion. Today we're going to look at Hebrews 4.16. So let us come boldly to the throne of our gracious God. There we will receive his mercy and we will find grace to help us when we need it most. Let's talk. In the Old Testament, there was only one who could enter the presence of God. And that was only once a year, and it was very dangerous. If that high priest wasn't pure, cleansed perfectly, doing and saying all that was required, he would die. After Jesus' sacrifice on the cross, all that changed. We are now invited into God's very throne room. We are expected to show up with our praises, gratitude, and requests. How awesome is that? This gift of access is never to be taken lightly, though. We are to revere our Lord. He is Almighty God. He is the maker of heaven and earth and all that is in it. He is the great I Am. His thoughts and ways are much higher than ours. At this throne, we are reminded of God's gift of favor on us that we never deserved. Yet he freely gave. Grace. Beautiful, amazing grace. At this throne, he gives us mercy for our failures instead of the punishment and condemnation we deserve. Grace and mercy. When we come to this throne of grace where we receive mercy, we are given help. The perfect help at the perfect time. Not early, not late, at just the right time to help us with whatever situation we're dealing with. This is something we've always known, this access. So we don't really recognize just how incredible it is. We don't have to wait until our time to go to the temple or tabernacle. We don't have to find the perfect unblemished animal from our flock to offer as a sacrifice. We don't have to trust that the priest will hear what God says and repeat it as he said it. We don't have to receive a message for all the people then figure out how it applies to us. When that veil was torn in two from the top down, God became very personal, very available to all who believe. Let's recognize this truth and relish it today. Let's bask in his favor and rejoice in his mercy. Let's be amazed at the fact that the Creator wants a personal relationship with us and be sure that we work on that moment by moment. Come on in, believer. Come boldly with the confidence that your Savior has paved the way for you. Coffee, Bible, Journal. I hope you've enjoyed this daily devotion and will look for several of the others that I've done. If you've got a comment, a question, a concern, drop that down below in the comments. Let me know. Let's talk. If you want to see more of these daily devotions, be sure and subscribe. Hit the bell so you'll get the notifications. And if you want to see some of the other videos I've done, check out over here. For now, I'm Faye Bryant. Have a fabulous, fabulous day.